These are the front wheels of a Stocke Explorer, and today we're going to show you how to remove the wheel from the fork itself in case you want to swap out the ball bearings or the axle. So we've already made the videos that show on both the newer and older models how to swap out the entire wheel, and it is possible to buy the entire wheels from Stocke. But we have been asked by a few viewers in order to show this as well, uh, in case you just want to get a hold of the ball bearings and replace them. Uh, ball bearings can go on this after a while. You can see, for example, it's the case on this wheel here. In order to remove the uh, ball bearings, you're going to have to first get the axle out. So have a look at your wheel. Uh, you can do this on the stroller, but it's harder. Uh, I'll just say this first. If you want to take your wheel off first, we have videos that show you how to do that, uh, as I mentioned. Uh, and it is a little bit easier, but it could be done while they're on the stroller as well. But in any case, in order to remove this axle, have a look at your wheel. You'll see on one side, the head looks a bit flatter than on the other. This one seems to protrude more. And so what's going on is that this is like a lock cap. Uh, the inside of this cap is a locking washer, while the other side is the head of the actual axle. So you're gonna have to remove the side that's a bit more bulbous, and you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver and a hammer. What you're gonna do is use that hammer to get the flathead screwdriver underneath, and you're just gonna pry it off, being careful not to damage it. you get a bit it up a bit on one side you can start to work your way around get a little bit of leverage there you go there's the cap you can see that underneath it has a locking washer just like this one and now you're gonna to have to remove this locking washer as well. Uh, now you can either use a very thin screwdriver and start to pry up those teeth, or just try to get something in the outside here. If you try to pry up the teeth first, you'll do less damage to the plastic, um, if you care about that, if your wheels aren't like really old anyway. As with the cap, once you get up one, little edge, it's a little easier. You can start working your way around. That's again advised if you're careful not to break the uh, locking washer, just like with the cap. But it's kind of a pain to get a hold of them in the right size, I find. So I guess some hardware stores are better than others. Don't worry about the fact that it's bending because you can just hammer it flat afterwards when you're going to reapply it. There we go. Okay, so there's the head of the axle. Now, in my case, I can just press it through and pull it out. But if your ball bearings are like totally broken apart, uh, there's a good chance that the in par inner part of the ball bearing has rusted onto this. In which case, I recommend using some uh, oils like WD-40, some solvents, and then of course trying to hammer it out uh, as best you can. And uh, worst case scenario, if you can get kind of work it a bit out, but this part is still the inner part is still rusted onto the axle, you might actually have to use power tools like a Dremel with a cutting wheel in order to cut off. Uh, the excess metal parts. But in any case, hopefully it'll go as smoothly for you as it did for me. Good idea to remove the hair while you get a chance. There's the wheel, axle, cap, and to remove the ball bearing, you just take your trusty flathead screwdriver, stick it in, and pop it right out. So now you can replace that. It's the uh, exact same on the other side. Okay. In order to put it back together then, hammer your ball bearings back in place, and then you're going to have to prepare your various pieces. So 
these parts are okay. This, you're gonna need to hammer flat. Okay, reassembly, you're gonna slide your wheel back in place. Make sure you know uh, whether it's gonna go this way or this way. That kind of depends on which side of the wheel it is when you took it off the stroller. Um, basically, when the wheel, when the stroller is wheeling forward and the fork is facing backwards, you're gonna want the like filled-in hubcap to be facing outwards. Just slide that in. Push your axle through. You can, of course, take the opportunity to uh, oil your ball bearings a little bit with some WD-40, something like that. Then you're gonna take your flattened uh, lock washer. And you're gonna need to get that on first. Now, the ideal thing for getting this on is you're gonna need either a pipe or uh, sometimes a ratchet works really nicely. It will fit around that axle, as you see that does. And uh, you can use that in order to hammer this down because it'll apply pressure to all sides of the lock washer at the same time. So, set that on top. hammered in and then when it comes to the cap so if you have a rubber mallet you can use that but one trick that I've found is if you take a teaspoon that you don't really care about and you bend it then you can use the natural curve of the spoon in order to preserve the curve of the cap just place it over and knock it into place. So, that is how you disassemble the front wheel of a Stocke Explori for the purpose of uh, most likely replacing the ball bearings, although I suppose it could be the axle or the wheels themselves. Uh, we hope that this video has been useful to you, and if it has been, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.